Jimongous spending spree on eBay and I bought lots of things and lots of parcels have arrived in the mail and I'm really excited to show you what I got. So let's get started, shall we? Um, so the first thing I got was uh, this parcel. Oh, so exciting. You can't even tell what it is. So I had to open these by the way, just in case anybody's wondering why they've already been opened, because I had no idea what was in them until I opened them up. So, this is a purchase from Black Kitty, and they do vintage collectibles, retro, and curios. And this was from eBay, and they've wrapped the parcel up with this delicious pink gingham ribbon, which I adore, by the way. I love pink gingham, so I'm probably going to take this and like turn it into a hair bow or something like that so I can wear it in my hair. But, oh, see, isn't it lovely? Cute things, I love cute things. And I think I'm gonna love this even more. When I open it up, let's see what it is. Ah! It is. Ooh, pretty. Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. Oh, I love it. Okay, so it's this amazing beaded purse. And it is like this creamy color, as you can see. And it's like, um, it's actually a satin material underneath the beading. I think it's gone a little bit discolored from age because in some places it's definitely more ivory and then other places it's more like um, the be beigey cream with like a discolor. And it's got this most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pearl and seed bead pattern on it. And so the pearls have a large pearl in the center and they've got these little pearls around the side. And so it's like a little flower and then it's just like a seed beading vine everywhere. And it's just amazing. So some of the bigger pearls on the purse are kind of coming a bit loose as you can see here but I'm going to try and tighten them and make sure they stay on because I would not want to lose them like this purse is just incredible and look it's even got like seed beads around the top near the clasp which is just like ah. when you open it up it looks like this inside and so this is very clearly an evening purse it has a satin lining with a little pocket and it is just made so I'm making it up and it smells like perfume and powder too hmm, interesting so I would actually venture to guess that this is probably 1940s, maybe 1930s, I don't know um, exactly what era it's from. There's no label on the inside though, so that doesn't tell me a lot about it. But it is quite clearly very old and absolutely beautiful and has such a nice weight to it too, as well. like it feels really nice in your hand. Um, I would say that the um, beads are glass or something like that because they weigh quite a bit, but oh, so divine. I absolutely love it. So I'm very excited with this purchase from Black Kitties. No, sorry, not Black Kitties, Black Kitty. Okay, I double T, double E. There you go. And that is very exciting. So, yay! All right, let's have a look at my next parcel, shall we? So, in here, I actually have these gloves. Now, these are vintage gloves. You might have already seen them on my Instagram. I um, ordered them a couple of weeks back and I thought I'd include them in the hauls to show them off because I really, really just love them. Like, look at the colour. And the detail on the back of the hand is just so cool. So it has like these little embroidered um, forget me, forget me dot firm type things. And it's just three of those down the back of the glove. And then they have the most delicious scalloped edge, which is so, so cute. And yeah, I'm just so in love with these. They're like in such good condition. Like there's no fading, there's no tearing, the fabric's all solid and it's just so good. And they fit me beautifully well. And I'm just really excited for these because red gloves are really hard to find. Like I've searched for them on Zing on eBay and a couple places. Etsy I think as well. And I just wasn't able to find like a really nice pair of red gloves. So when these beauties popped up in my feed when I searched for them, I had to buy them straight away. So I did. And they fit and they're so so cool. So 
I'm going to style these with an outfit post soon because really winter is the best time for wearing gloves because you can get away with wearing vintage gloves in winter and they look a little bit different from what most everybody else is wearing but at least everybody else is wearing gloves and you don't look like a strange person for wearing gloves in 30 degree weather which is what it gets down here in Australia. And yes, I know I'm wearing a summer dress, but it's warm inside today, even though it is in the middle of winter. So there we go. That's that purchase. And then from the same bag, I got this bubble wrap parcel. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Um, I hope I can open this without scissors. A little bit of hair might be necessary. Do, 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 da, 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 da. It is, I don't know if you can see it, but you soon will be able to see it. Oh, it's a hair bow! Surprise, surprise. And actually, I am going to wear this more like a hat because. I don't know if you can see from there it's huge <laughs> it's so pretty so this is another beaded and embroidered piece um, it's kind of like this uh, what would you call that like a marigold I don't know rusty rusty pumpkin maybe bronze yeah bronze actually bronze is a good shade term for this shade so it's like this bronze color which I don't actually have much in my wardrobe so I'm not entirely sure what outfit I'm going to wear this with, but I'll figure it out, don't worry. <laughs> and um, it's got more tiny, delicate beading and a kind of lacy type embroidery pattern. And it's really, really pretty. And you probably can't see it properly, but there we go. I will we'll also feature this on my Instagram as well if you want to have a look at that. And if you're looking for me, I am at Miss BJ Gear on Instagram. So yes, come along and have a look at some of my pretties. And yeah, I'm really excited to wear this one as well. So yeah, this is this is gonna be great. Total, total hat thing here that's happening. I love it. It's more like um, a whimsy style hat. So yeah, that's exciting. Okay, so what else have I got? Oh, this is a big purchase. This one came, I haven't tried it on yet. But you guys, it's a dress. Now, it's kind of plain compared to a lot of my dresses. I hardly ever buy anything in solid fabrics. Like I'm way more into your florals, your polka dots, or your gingham, or your plaid. Ooh, I just adore patterns. But I saw this dress and I was really excited because it has the most cute little peacock edging on the sleeves and the collar. and. Yes, it's a Peter Pan collar, so you know, I can't resist that. And it has this cute little puff sleeve, a nice full skirt, and basically it's just a really simple but delicate and pretty linen, I think, dress, which is perfect for summer. So I haven't tried it on yet, and I should go do that. I also got this belt with it, which is not the belt that belongs to this dress at all, but the seller just threw it in for whatever reason. And yeah, that's cute. So I'm happy to wear it with the dress and see how it looks. So how about I go try the dress on and come back and show you what it looks like. So here it is. What do you think? I really like this dress. I'm so excited for it. I just love the color. And yeah, like I said, I don't have very many plain vintage dresses. So this is, this is kind of new for me, but I'm really liking it. Digging this color. It's so cute. Anyway, so shall we move on? So my last parcel that I recently received in the mail and no means by any way the actual last parcel, but just the last one I'm doing on this video is my first pinup girl package. <laughs> um, so I have been waiting for pinup girl to get their canvas petticoat back in stock for uh, several months. 
and I got an email in the other day and it was just like, yeah, your skirt's back in stock. And I went, oh my gosh, I have to get it straight away before it sells out again because these canvas underskirts seem to be super popular. And I know I really, really want one. So all my petticoats are either huge and voluminous with loads of poof or they're just kind of like slit underneath. And I needed something that was kind of halfway in between, not too poofy but still had a nice amount of volume to make my skirt slide out. So the canvas underskirt looked like a good choice. And when I saw it came back in stock, I bought it immediately and it has arrived. So yay. I got this um, kind of like, I don't know, card set with some of their dresses on it in with the parcel. I thought this was actually a pretty cute idea. Like, I mean, I probably wouldn't necessarily buy any of these particular dresses, but it sort of looked like, it kind of reminded me of those um, vintage baseball cards or baseball cards that people collect and stuff like that. And I could just imagine somebody wanting to collect all of these cards with the different dresses on them. So I don't know, kind of cute. And then there was this giant postcard with the bachelor in the back. So if, if they do, shop with them again. I'll definitely be using that. And invoice, boring, you don't want to see that. And then finally, the underskirt. So it looks like this. Now I must confess, it is loads shorter than what I thought it would be. Like, I guess I was thinking it would be a regular petticoat length, whereas it is quite short. And you probably wouldn't really want to wear this on your waist. I think you'd actually want to wear it around your hips um, to keep that volume out there. I'm not sure. And I haven't tried it on yet because I thought I would try it on for the video and see how it goes. So why don't I take off the tag? There we go. Nice little thing and go try this on under this skirt and then you can see what sort of volume is added to it. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, I'm wearing the Pinup Girl canvas petticoat on my hips, not up my waist, but I actually really like it. It has added a nice amount of poof to my skirt, not too much, and guys, I discovered this dress has pockets. Yay! So awesome, I love pockets. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with this purchase and I'm really, really excited to wear this skirt out and about and around. So I will let you know how the canvas underskirt goes or canvas petticoat goes. I'll probably do a review of it on my blog, Lavender and Twill, later on once I've got some more out of it and see how it works in different situations and I'll let you know later how it goes. So thank you very much for joining me for this whole video and if you like what you've seen, please comment, rate and subscribe for more videos at Lavender and Twill's YouTube channel. Bye!